Okay. Welcome to everybody. What I'm trying, what I'm going to show you, is a um, is an example of how to implement um, an interactive job platform for public administration using PostgreSQL technologies. Uh, the main uh, the main aim of the project was to uh, redesign the oldest version of uh, the spatial data infrastructure of Veneto region, that's a, a region in uh, Italy, from a commercial software to, the, to, a, to another uh, um, kind of uh, um, technology based on the state of the art of PhosphoG. So it was a, a complete uh, a change of uh, vision. They've asked us do, to do that because uh, uh, the X uh, technology was not so good. It was really, uh, well, it was not open, of course, and it was not possible to uh, modify that, to improve that, to update that. Was. So, um, and they've asked us to um, enhancing user interaction and interfaces. So the, the project was, of, of course, founded by the region of the Veneto, Veneto region, managed by this um, Italian company called, uh, called uh, Engineering, and was developed by and implemented by, by us, by Genesis GIF. We are, Italian, we are a, an international holding company uh, based in Italy, but uh, and, and we operate in the geospatial sector at worldwide level with a lot of uh, different projects for the main international agencies such as World Bank, European Union and so on. So the, the requirements for this geoportal was uh, basically the provision of a single point of access, single uh, web geo platform where all the uh, data sources could be uh, archived and shared with uh, with all the user. Um, the control of all data sources from the, the territory. The territory of the uh, Veneto region is quite big and they have a lot of different mm, little organizations and all of them are uh, responsible for a little piece of data. So they needed to have a, a central uh, management for that. Um, and uh, mm, but as well to uh, to have the possibility to uh, control all the different kind of data sources that distributed on the on the territory. Uh, they also, oh, of course, they also have, need to have uh, a simple way of uh, um, managing the, the access to the platform. What we provide as innovation was uh, um, a first, the, the main one was the, the possibility to create uh, in a, interactively a different web GIS applications without uh, any code development. So something that was really easy for the geo platform uh, uh, manager to implement. And for different kind of domain, like uh, uh, land use web GIS, or cycling path GIS, mm, uh, topography, aerophotogrammetry, uh, web GIS, and so on. And uh, so, 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 some other innovation was about, uh, as I was saying, the monitoring of data life cycle. So, the data life cycle was uh, really, before was really a mess. So we try and just to organize all the different steps from the acquisition of uh, data from uh, the uh, different single distributed stakeholders to the final approval, which was uh, centrally managed by the platform manager. So and we developed uh, a module for uh, the uh, management of, uh, of all the steps of this um, data lifecycle work. We've also created uh, 
uh, an interactive web editor for um, creating uh, metadata uh, based on the Italian um, metadata profile. It's called LNDT, which is based on the I, uh, ISO 19135, the international name. And of course, the interactive uh, configuration for the uh, user access. We did that all based on a model approach. So we, uh, we developed different modules for, for the job platform, uh, job portal, a web GIS, data lifecycle model, metadata catalog model, the access management and uh, statics, statistics for, um, for the access to the platform. The two main uh, models are uh, job portal and web GIS. Job portal model is the, the point of access of the platform which allows to launch uh, all the other models, such as Map Viewer, all the Map Viewer application, so all the WebGIS modules, different WebGIS modules, the metadata catalog, and so on. Uh, the Job Portal also module also allows uh, yeah. the manager to uh, define and configure in the layout, like logos, fonts, and colors, and so on. And the publication on co of, uh, of the content, uh, like news about uh, the, 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 the job portal, uh, or polls, statistics, uh, and different kind of information. Uh, the job portal model also provides uh, general services like uh, data download, the conversion and transformation of uh, the coordinate systems, uh, data search, and so on. The portal model uh, allows to launch all the different web GIS. Uh, can be created, as I said, uh, by the system manager without any development for the different domains that was needed. So, these are some examples. The uh, the job portal can uh, manage pages, articles, news, multimedia teams logos, layout, or uh, for the um, uh, configuration of uh, the, uh, the, the, general, uh, the general content, and also uh, provide different services. Uh, the download services allows the, the, client, the, the, the users to download layers, documents, geodetic points, Digital terrain model, all the, the special data, uh, uh, which, are, which is uh, which are uh, archived in uh, the geo portal. The types of data that are download are can be static or dynamic, meaning uh, static or like uh, um, some data that are um, already prepared, pre-prepared by the um, system manager, or they can be dynamic. That means that it needs more time. And can, they can be synchronous or asynchronous when, uh, for example, the, when we have a, a, a huge amount of data, which need m much more time than, uh, than the, the normal download. So the user can be um, advised with an email. Some other services are, of course, the coordinate transformation. In Italy, we have different kind of uh, uh, CRS. And the main, uh, we use the, the main, the main ones. And as I said, from the, the job portal, um, from uh, the main job portal module, we, uh, the, the user can uh, access to the different web uh, GIS uh, map viewer application. And the system manager can configure the, uh, the, the WebGIS modules and the WebGIS uh, and the map view application, just uh, mm, combining different components like maps, data catalogs, uh, the coordinate reference system, which just like very interactively. It's just uh, a matter of uh, mm, clicking on a, on a button or just um, mm, choosing the, 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 the the type of uh, components that it's needed. And in really in five minutes, 
uh, the, the data the system manager can uh, uh, provide to the user a new web GIS and that's one of the we think that's one of the greatest uh, um, uh, improvement that we have uh, provided to the public administration of uh, Veneto region. Uh, of course, we, uh, the, the, the data manager can also define which, uh, which are the, um, the rights for e any kind of uh, user, the roles, the functionality that are allowed for any user, the permission on data, so can be uh, really uh, fragmented, can be really, uh, we, uh, the, the, the system manager can really uh, define uh, in a specific, in a very specific way, uh, the, um, the access for any users to the platform. Uh, well, and then after the configuration, the web GIS application, the map your application app, um, available to the user according to the roles and to the permission the administration uh, the administration the administrator has um, uh, defined and the map viewer are of course um, composed by the the pay, the, 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 the usual uh, components of a um, map viewer like uh, the maps uh, the catalogs uh, different kind of widgets, reference system, and so on. Uh, like that, really easily. Uh, some, uh, some, uh, some functionalities can be uh, configured also by the system administrator, like uh, some widgets we provided to them, like um, the use of parallel maps, meaning that uh, the, 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 the end user can, can see uh, uh, different visualization for the same area. 3D visualization. It is also possible to edit any kind of data. Uh, this is another one. Uh, this is another widget for, the, for calculating the, the route from point A to point B with the possibility to add some stops and so on. Mm. Another uh, really important module is the data lifecycle management. Uh, uh, with this model, the, mm, it is possible to have, uh, in the, at the same time, the possibility to uh, manage uh, all data lifecycle uh, at um, in a in a in a with a, a central. Um, management, meaning the uh, data manager can see all the workflow, but at the same time, each step of the workflow uh, is, uh, um, is, is, is um, managed and, uh, uh, by different uh, stakeholders. And different stakeholders as the responsible for any operation for any step or end for any kind of data. The different steps are which I have, which I have uh, uh, defined with, uh, mm, with our uh, clients, so with uh, Veneto region are, uh, uh, are just um, visualized and uh, shown in this, uh, in this schema. So after the data loading from the distributed uh, stakeholder, so meaning from a different uh, territorial um, data sources, they are uh, just uploaded to the platform, and then they uh, together with the metadata, and then they are um, published in a, in a stage environment, meaning that the data manager uh, or the system manager can uh, can see before the, pub the, 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 the publication in. Uh, the production, what's inside the data. Uh, data are validated, metadata are validated by different users, and of course, normally uh, the data manager, and finally data uh, is approved and can be published. Uh, and, and this is um, 
managed by by specific uh, modem. Uh, all these steps can be uh, monitored by a single dashboard. For each data, the, uh, the authorized user can see the status of the progress of the data workflow. Mm, okay, these are all the uh, metadata can also be um, not only uh, uploaded in different formats like XML and so on, they can also be created interactively uh, on online by the users. And they also can be uh, validated using the uh, Italian metadata standard profile. In this way, we can be sure about the data, the metadata uh, quality. Okay, uh, metadata of course can be, can be searched. Another module, so we have seen geoportal module for the uh, general content, WebGIS module for um, creating new uh, map viewer application, metadata catalog for uh, managing and creating new metadata. We have the access management model for, uh, the, um, for creating and modifying uh, new users and the rights of the users to, to uh, execute some functionality, uh, configuring different kind of roles. And also uh, we can uh, define for each role which kind of data can be accessed and can be edited, can be downloaded, and so on. Finally, the last model is a model for um, monitoring uh, some statistic uh, of access uh, to, the, to the, the platform, like uh, from where my users are uh, opening uh, some, uh, some sections of, uh, of the platform, uh, how many, how many clicks in a day, uh, how many downloads, and so on. These are uh, a little example of, uh, of all the logs and the charts that are provided by the, the platform. Finally, the architecture and involved technologies. So, DBMS is based on PostgreSQL. Uh, G Server is just server. The metadata server is a uh, free open source uh, software uh, from ASL. As in Geoportal Server. Programming languages and libraries are Java, JavaScript, HTML, and so on. Open layers, of course, of course. And we have used WordPress for the CMS. Big week, big week for the statistics. Uh, this is uh, the, the, the cluster of GeoServer because, well, it was uh, quite complicated because we have used, as you see, eight slaves uh, for the uh, high reliability of, uh, of the server because well, it's quite big, as I said, region, uh, Veneto region was. Really, uh, for Veneto region was really important to have 24 hours, seven, uh, seven days uh, a week, uh, this, uh, the, 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 the server on online. And final conclusion, like a little summary, uh, we have uh, in, with, uh, we have introduced the, the following improvements for uh, um, compared to before. We have provide uh, we we have done the, the provision of. Uh, and integrated that management. We have simplified the, the, the management of the portal and, of course, uh, the creation of thematic of JS. The direction is better now between the, uh, all the different stakeholders uh, on the territory and for the data production and for the maintenance. Data lifecycle now is uh, completely um, monitored using um, atomic steps. Uh, um, linked to different uh, responsible. Data quality is guaranteed right now because uh, each response, each each um, uh, stakeholder is responsible for data. And uh, now, even in the in the region, uh, 
they are using uh, the open source software, so, and that's a good thing in Italy. The use of open source software is really enhancing and improving, especially in the northern part of Italy. And of course, uh, we have now is uh, the, the, all the international standards like OGC, um, metadata, ISO uh, 19139, are, they are um, respected. And well, that's it. For Thank you for the presentation. Uh, we still have yeah, two minutes for questions. Is there a question from the audience? Sorry. Hello, thank you uh, for your presentation. Um, uh, I will know a little bit more about um, the technology that you are used for make your portal because uh, you you uh, okay sorry um, is uh, so my second uh, questions um, did you uh, create a, a package uh, so uh, your portal uh, could be also uh, available uh, as a uh, an open source, open source um, um, SDI. Well, we are in the, in the development of that. Uh, I mean, the, this is the next step. Right now, well, the, the modules are uh, they can uh, mutually interacting, but we try to uh, just detach any modules from the other in order to have different packages that can be combined together. We are in the process of that. Uh, will be, I think, I hope, uh, before the, the the end of the year. But that's that's the main the main configuration, the main thinking uh, on the base of uh, this implementation to have different modules that can be combined together. Yeah, if it's a short one, one last question. Do you already have an idea about which uh, license will you apply to the software package? Which kind of license? License, software license. Yeah, you know, maybe I can answer since I was one of the developers of the platform. Well, the fact is that uh, the platform was uh, shipped to the Veneto region, so now the, uh, in uh, the future, of this uh, uh, platform depends on what the Veneto region wants to do because uh, everything was uh, requested to be speech, explicitly requested to be open source. Now we are trying to push the Veneto region to uh, publish the whole infrastructure on some uh, repository and also decide which is the appropriate uh, license for this. So, I mean, uh, I don't know in other countries, but in Italy it's kind of uh, I mean, difficult because uh, uh, everything that is uh, that concerns uh, uh, public administration is uh, I mean takes uh, some time. But uh, yeah, well, uh, we would like to have this as uh, open source uh, uh, down downloadable software. So, if uh, any of you want to have uh, this uh, platform, um, should get in touch with well with us or with the Veneto region directly and ask for. Uh, Use. Okay. Hypothetically, is open source, but as, a, as Andrea said, we have to wait for the public administration to allow us to uh, put that in a um, public repository. That's the way it's working. Okay, thank you once again. I would also have questions, but I think we can do that later on. <laughs>